the uh, special called uh, meeting, uh, kind of support meeting. Um, yesterday we had on the agenda, but uh, we didn't get it. Sorry, was the uh, young blood uh, excavating contract final payment? You should have received the document. We discussed this uh, <clears throat> uh, several meetings ago. Um, as it states in here, there are 70 days beyond the uh, contract date of completion, and the engineers. <coughs> Like the final payment is $68,194.44. Um, now, final payment. Uh, our contract with them, uh, I believe it was Jeff, what, $500 a day. Uh, and there were 70 calendar days past the contract completion date of March 5th. Liquidated damages uh, in the amount of $500 per day uh, are part of the contract. I'll just read this. This is from the engineers, Judge Neal. Mm -hmm. We have received and reviewed the fifth and final application for payment from Youngblood Excavating Contract and LLC on the lift station improvement project in Aurora. Following our review, we concur with the quantities shown and the amount invoiced for the work completed through May 24th, 2018. On May 14th, the final mechanical tests were performed on this project and all five lift stations were placed into active service <coughs> with full functionality at each location. May 14th, 2018 shall be noted as the date of substantial completion for this project. On Thursday, May 17th, a final walkthrough punch list inspection was performed on this project Representatives from the Sanitation District, Youngblood, and Rivercrest were in attendance. A copy of the punch list inspection notes has been included with this letter for your reference. It is our understanding that the contractor has already begun work on the noted items and that they are coordinating with district staff for access to each site. Based upon a site visit performed by Rivercrest staff on May 29, 2018, we have confirmed the installation of the added change order items and therefore established May 29th as the date of completion for this project. <coughs> the contractor's one-year general warranty shall be in effect until May 29th, 2019. Through the date of the substantial completion, May 14th, 2018 construction on this project was 70 calendar days past the contract to completion date of March 5th. As discussed previously with the fiscal court, liquidated damages in the amount of $500 per day are a part of the contract. In the event the fiscal court decides to withhold li li uh, liquidated damages, the calculated amount should be withheld from this final pay request. One copy of change order number two has been included for your review and approval. In addition, one copy of Youngblood's uh, application for payment is attached to this letter for your reference. Payments may be made directly to Youngblood upon approval. If you have any questions or wish to discuss further, please call me at, my, at your convenience. That's Charles McCann from Rivercrest. <clears throat> I think uh, you put that uh, five hundred dollars. Seventy days is that thirty-five thousand? <throat> is that right, Jeff? Mm -hmm. Has, um, has, has uh, Young Bloods responded to that? Responded to? Uh, I mean, have they paid the thirty-five thousand? No. They are they aware of the, the the situation? I think so. I think Chad had talked to them about. But we don't know that. Yes. I think that's what he said here. No, okay. they're aware, yeah. When he was here, when when we we had an executive session on this yeah, several know. months ago, yeah. so Youngblood is aware I, I, of it. I remember so, having the executive session at 12 noon. So yeah. I, haven't, I, haven't heard, I haven't been made aware of anything that, that Youngblood has said. We're proposed us. basically just take that 35000 We haven't read that. Yeah. We're going to take 33, the 194 and then they can payment. complain. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Yes. What, what if they contest that? They have 
sue us. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I actually, understand. I, or negotiate it down. Probably an arbitration clause in right. the contract. Right. Aren't, aren't they going to say all this $35,000 is not going in the coffers of the county. It's <laughs> going to Rivercrest directly for having to oversee the project another seven weeks, 70 days. That's the way I understood it when I came out. Is that? No, we part of that. We paid them an extra fee. I, I know, I know. But, but they're going to charge us more because it was 70 days over. That's the way, I mean, there's no doubt. I know what I understood. But it wasn't 35000 It uh, was, that, that's the $500 a day is the liquidated damage clause. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some of those penalties to put in the county coffers, yes. plus River that's, Crest yeah. is going to get another hunk of money for 70 more days. Of, right. over, Have we not overseeing. already paid them? We've already paid them. Yeah, we've already yeah. paid them whatever extra we okay. going to pay them. Could, could is it obviously? I know it is. Can we find out what of that thirty-five thousand dollars? What portion? Because Rivercrest had to oversee, according to them, or that's the reason they gave this. They had to work. Se and I can understand their point. They had to work seventy extra days because the project was supposed to be over here, and they were monitoring. They pulled young blood pulled off the job, or it was a you know how much that check was that we wrote that last meeting? Uh, what am I thinking? Oh, at uh, one meeting, thinking, they told us how much it would be. Yeah, they told us, uh, they, but I can't it's remember. Solid. Can't remember either. I think so. Because we paid them in full. Yeah. Yes. yes. They, could, they had to get in here before that deadline and tell us. They told us the amount. I just can't remember. They no brought more. up, you know, that there had been some issues and River Chris hadn't been there or something one time, but they, they did not start. They, they, they had a whole month or two, something, two it's months that, that they didn't even, they wasn't even here. Yeah, they moved the equipment. Yeah, there wasn't any reason. There wasn't any reason they couldn't have finished this. Right. Yeah. Oh. Right. Okay. They can make, I mean, if they come back and make a case, if, if they come back to us, can they come directly to us and make a case of, of why they were late? And then we can, we can, if we I felt can like them. it was uh, legitimate, <coughs> we can give them one, some or part of that back. Whether, whether I, I it's legitimate it. or not, I, I would think that Youngblood's case would be if, if you if we weren't there, then you as Rivercrest weren't overseeing the work because we weren't there for two months. So you know why are we paying us to oversee that and oversee that seventy days? I think they're going to want to uh, tweak that figure a little bit. But is it, you think there's an arbitration clause in that? For it usually is in those. I've, okay. I looked at it back then, but I hadn't. Okay. Used it. That's their standard. Okay. okay. Rivercrest. Rivercrest bid it according to the days that they thought it would take to Monitor. complete to complete right. the work, whether it was two days now and and 20 days six months later. Right, yeah. right. So, I yes. mean, they, they didn't have any extra days figured in right. to that. Right. So, but what, what, what I'm, what I'm I mean, saying, they're going to argue, was, I mean, they may argue that, yeah. but I don't think they What I would say if I was young bloods is that who was, if I wasn't there for, you're saying I wasn't there for two months and probably should have been now after all this because I'd finished on time, but I wasn't there two months. What was there for you to oversee? You were getting paid for to oversee so many work days and, and you knew good and well you didn't have to be out there two months because I wasn't there to oversee. So I, I think they're going to play the. Checks, but I'd have to get them to pull <coughs> just or pay scale. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. That should be our argument. Yeah, yeah. That shouldn't be a young blood's yeah, argument. Yeah. Young blood, yeah. young blood went over this. If yes. we wanted to argue with, we wanted to argue with Rivercrest. River no, Quest, I'm not talking. About, I can't say that. I'm not talking about <laughs> arguing with Rivercrest. I'm talking about that's probably going to be young blood. That's argument. what I'm saying. We should be arguing that point with Rivercrest. Oh yeah, right. oh, I agree. That should be our argument. Oh, yeah, young bloods doesn't got anything in yeah, that. I agree. That's I between agree. us and River. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Yeah. All right. You are correct. Okay, we're good. Quest. I don't know which way there's, a, there's an R in there. They're pulling those. The last three bills. Okay. Bills. That's okay. I mean, I don't have to know now. I know that's fine. I guess the 
request would be to proceed in paying them the, the balance, their, their balance less than 35000 I certainly would note in there legally, I would think that if there's an arbitration clause in there that uh, make them aware of that, uh, they probably already know that and, and we re understand that, but as it stands not now, unless they want to argue that or arbitrate, then then this is what our decision is to do. I mean, we kind of decided that with, uh, Bob just said I was kind of, you know, I felt the same way he was talking about that if they didn't have anything to supervise for two months you know uh, sure. I, I understand going over and so forth that kind of throws him off a little bit but not necessarily they the might not want to honor the going under part but right that's, yeah yeah that's their decision too and Okay. Well, I've heard from everybody but me. of Jonathan and up to Bob's property. Tied onto his dock. I've got a dock. You need something. You need you need no, you want an access. Extra one? We're gonna tie a three bay dock to it. If we find you on a uh, you buy a lot, we can we can work on whatever. <laughs> buy three lots and you'll have three bays. <laughs> so the slip comes with each dock, <laughs> with each lot. Sounds like bargain, doesn't it, Bob? Absolutely, that's what I thought. To the county utilizers. Sure. I'd jump Anybody on could. I mean, if they just leave their own television, Bob. Right. Free advertising. <laughs> yeah. 
Can you lay it down? Your phone down here. How you doing, Jimbo? I don't know if I have any text. Got a second for a question? Um, there is a down, you know where Red Wing Lane is? Is that down at the creek right on there? <coughs> right the Mark Reed? Red, Red Wing and Red River is one. Yeah. There's a down there. Twenty-four million dollar bill with uh, rural yeah, road right. bridge for bridges on rural roads. Okay. So that would be state probably in. Possibly some of that could get to counties. I don't know. That's a federal program, but I don't know the details. They don't have any details. They just said it's going through Congress right now. Well, if, yeah, and that's a drop in the bucket. But anyway, that's still other than when we were talking about. Uh, one of them, one, they were also talking about water and wastewater projects. I just was reading about that. They'd added in the in the budget, they'd added four hundred million dollars to water and wastewater projects, and make taking it up to like one point six billion or something. But they estimate that there's like five hundred billion dollars worth of projects that are. Uh, it's something like that. That's the kind of numbers that you're looking at. Yeah, across the whole country. Yeah. So you're competing. You know, you're yeah, competing against for 1.6 billion, which sounds like a big number. Do you find out that right. that uh, there's 500 billion dollars worth of projects? So you wonder why it gets hard to get grants now. And that, that's the big. That's, that's kind of like what Bob. Yep. Yep. I had to run back to the house a lot. Yeah. 
I don't think it was 19,000. I was thinking about eight or nine thousand. So here's the last invoice. This is the way I do it. There's the there's the invoice. Prior to that for eighty six fifty. Last one I remember was about eight thousand something. So there wasn't any. So there's the one. And then here's the. Eight to eight hold up for that meeting. You know, I would have been just sitting there thinking about how much is the money that we can get at the place that we're doing it. And that's how I would have been thinking about it. Yeah, but I was thinking about the 16 weeks of observation. When he was explaining what they were going to do, I mean, he he said that I mean they wouldn't be there uh, every day for no. those seventy days. Right. He told us that he said they'd have to come every periodically and and check. So I mean, it wouldn't be some number times the seventy. I forget why, but I can't remember either what he said. But uh, I don't uh, I don't remember. But he explained how they would do that. But they wouldn't be somebody there every minute. Uh, over because most of that work was a lot of that work was actually uh, uh, straightening things up uh, some of it was on the actual lift stations but a lot <coughs> of it was, was like uh, dirt work around the stations or gravel or whatever they were putting down Obviously, they don't work on Saturday and Sunday. They definitely don't work on Sunday. Well, I mean, there's, if there's an arbitration clause, if we're right. going to arbitration. Well, on a, on a contract, it's, on a contract, it's every day. Yeah. Oh, really? Unless That's it's specified. I mean, it's every day. It, if you're over from this day after that date, uh, oh. unless it's specified otherwise, it's I'd every day. This is the one that. We've been into that. The we really? That is possible. Me too, yeah. Like I was showing them, the only thing, the only two different numbers that I would see. Oh, there it is. Hand me that. If you can get that, I mean, we could, that could be straightened out later too. I mean, we could decide we're going to withhold that. Where's there? We've got.
young legal. But I mean, I mean, then they would come back and we'd just have to, I mean, that'd be end of the next budget year probably more than likely anyway. They're part of Keiko. Compass, they're part of Keiko. R.J. Palmer. Linda, uh, Melton. Yeah. Linda Melton, yeah, yeah she works with Keiko. Yeah. With vendors. Yeah. That's that's R J Palmer. That's that's Yeah, you've already paid. I would think so. You've already paid your expenses, and the, the $500 liquidated damages is what both parties agreed would be the damage yeah. before this thing ever started. So that's the reason it's put in there to keep the dispute down and force the bill to get it done on they, they were here yesterday looking for the check, so the work that they had done to make the decision today to cut a check to our job. So we're going to withhold yep. that. I would probably attach this letter. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's, to me, that's what we've got to do. We've got to follow that contract, and then if they've got, they want to come back and challenge it in some way, then we'll just have to adjust right. if they've got a legitimate challenge. I mean, it was their contract. And yeah. I know they're over. They knew, they knew what would happen, you know. Right. Any guess about that? I move motion? that we short, short pay the $35,000 on this last payment. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Uh, uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Um, was there another item? already announced earlier that we were going to Is that is it make a difference? No. Okay. That's no, it. As long as you said it either here or you do it. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. 